Now our continuing series, Behind the News, How a Story is Made. This week, Newspapers. We take a story which arose during the recent election campaign and chart its path from small, undiscovered fact to a burning news issue. April the 2nd, 1992. A leading member of the opposition party is involved in a heated exchange with staff in a hotel bar in Manchester. Go and get the f***ing drinks now, you understand? Get... Right, listen, do you want a f***ing job in the morning? You... The exchange is recorded by a businessman with a dictaphone. Very clear, it's very f***ing clear. Go and get us our drinks now, do you understand? Friday, April the 3rd, 1992. In Conservative Central Office, the phone is ringing. Central Office? Oh, is that Conservative Central yes, Office? Yes, it is. Could I speak to a campaign manager, please? Hello, can I help you? Uh, I have an incident to report to you involving a leading member of the opposition party. Mm-hmm. Are we on a confidential line? Yes. Last night, I witnessed this senior member of the opposition party in a disgraceful outburst in a hotel bar in Manchester. I thought you'd like to know. Um, can I just have a word with, um, someone who's senior to me? Certainly. Just a moment, please. Hello. Hello. Hello, yes, I've just spoken to, um, one of my senior colleagues. We wouldn't want to handle a story like that. Um, but you might find that, um, one of the Tory tabloid papers would be interested. Either the Mail or the Express. So you would advise I call the Daily Mail or the Daily Express? Yeah. Right. News desk. Hello, is that the Daily Mail News Desk? Yes. I've been advised to call you by Tory Central Office. Mm -hmm. I phoned them saying that I wish to report an incident involving a senior member of the Labour Party behaving in a despicable manner. Well, who, well, can we, you know... The senior member of the Labour Party. Neil Kinnock. Right. OK. I've got a tape. Can you make out what's being said? I can play you a bit. Uh, OK. I'm telling you, I wrote it down. You wrote it down about 20 minutes ago. I wish you'd have drinks over here. What are you trying to do? There's an election campaign up, for Christ's sake. I'm trying to... Uh, this is the last thing I need. How much can you offer for a saucy one like this? Um... Um... About a thousand, perhaps more. 9pm, Sunday, April the 5th. Can I help you? Hello, could I have the Sun News Desk, please? Hello. Is that News Desk? Uh, well, I'm a reporter. I'll have a story involving a leading member of a political party. Yeah. Behaving in a disgraceful fashion in a hotel bar. And, and who was it? Well, I wouldn't be phoning you if it was about the Conservative Party, would I? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, what, what happened? Well, I have a recording of the incident. What's he saying? We're talking this man blowing his top. Is yeah. he Kinnock? With that? <laughs> it's not exactly Harry Seacombe, is it? What, what time of the evening was this? Oh, 11.30, something like that. Well, so how did it all start? I don't know. I turned around to, to witness the shouting with my ear. Mm -hmm. Um, I wonder if any way we can get the arrange to collect the tape. I'd only be prepared to part with the tape mm. if you could pay me for it. Well, you definitely, definitely get paid. What I want to know is, how much can you offer for a Kinnock story of this magnitude? Um, I have to have a word with my news, news at Can you go and ask him now, because I'm quite, uh, about to go to bed. Okay, you know. okay, well, can you, uh, you will hold on with you, yeah. won't you? Okay, just set. Hi. Hello. Um, but you've got this on, on tape, have you? Some of the exchanges on tape, yes. Yeah, have you got it there? Can you just, uh, let me hear a, a snatch of it? Okay. <laughs> Okay, well, I'll tell you what I can do. I can send you over uh, a letter signed by me. What will the letter say? Uh, the letter will guarantee you um, uh, remuneration of, uh, um, at the minimum, uh, at, the, at the very minimum of um, one thousand pounds. Can we make that fifteen hundred? Yeah, I can do that for you. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> what if I went to the Express or the Mail? Well, they wouldn't go for it. Why is that? The, well, because they, uh, they they operate on a different kind of story. 
so we're you're realistically your uh, your best and your only chance. Okay. How do we arrange to pick it up then? I can send a courier out if you, but you need to uh, let me know where and uh, uh, where and when. Okay. If I send the tape by cab to Madame Two Swords, and you send the courier, the cabby will bring back the uh, money to me, and the courier will take the tape to you. Uh, yeah. Okay. What well, uh, what should we say? One a.m. Yeah, one a.m. One a.m. outside Madame Two Swords. And you'll get cracking tomorrow? Yeah. So if uh, I... Obviously, tomorrow we'll be um, on the ground in a big way. You know, if we can get a good early start on it tomorrow, I think we can turn it into a great story. We'll be there at one o'clock outside Madame Two Swords. OK. I'll speak to you tomorrow. Hello? Hello there. Hi, mate. Um, How's it going? Well, they're, 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 well, they're working on it up in Manchester. I mean, can, can I uh, ask you, I mean, would you be fair to go on the record about it as a, as a witness? What could you pay me for going on the record? Well, I should think that I would uh, bump it up by another 500 at least. Could you make it two and a half if I went on the record? On the record, yes. Do you have any cash about you at the moment? No, I don't. I'd accept 50 you know quid if you could find five people with a tenner in the pocket. Yeah, but I mean, you know... I, I, you have I a whip round. Huh? Well, it's nice to get a bit, isn't it? <laughs> well, look, what I'm going to do is I can get somebody to come out with some money for you um, in cash. Can you create some sort of memento of this event? Yeah, yeah, if you want one, yeah, no problem. What, what sort of thing did you have in mind? We could you do me a sort of um, a framed picture of the newspaper editor? Uh, well... <laughs> We haven't got any frame ones, but we can bring you one if you want. You could do me a picture of him. Yeah. You could frame it in a in a heart shape. Yeah. If I went on the record, that's what I'd ask. Well, I'm sure we could arrange it for you. In pink. Yeah. I, I, we can. Yeah, it's no problem at all. Sure, we can uh, sort something out on that. I'd be prepared to go on the record if you would quote exactly what I saw. Well, yeah. I mean, we wouldn't misquote you in any way. If that's what, what you mean. I mean, you'd be quoted directly from what you said. Which was Mr. Kinnock emerging stark naked from his bedroom at four in the morning, <laughs> shouting, forget Paddy Pants down, I'm Neil Kingcock. Yeah. And yeah. Neris Hughes disappearing, also stark naked, down the other end of the corridor. <laughs> yeah, if you're wasting my time here. Bye-bye! <laughs> on the hour, leaves the apple to ripen on the bough, then harvests it at tremendous speed.